I've built this tiny weather application that you can see now on the screen with the help of GitHub Copilot. It is a Blazor server app, well, a Blazor web app with the server interactive render mode. And I can enter any city I want here, for instance, Washington DC, hit get weather, and I get the current weather, right? With the temperature in Celsius and Fahrenheit, same with London, for instance, and here you see that it works, which is great. And it actually uses real API calls. But now let's have a look at the code. So as you can see here already in, this, in the Solution Explorer, we have our default weather razor page. We see interactive server render mode. Everything's fine. We're using an IHTTP client factory, which is already nice. But everything is in here, the whole logic. I mean, I love that it says uh, we need the uh, geocode data, right? Latitude, longitude, and th it gets this first and then it uses this API call here and adds these values. And with that, then we get the proper data. Now this is done in seconds or minutes, which is great. But again, the whole architecture, the structure, maybe not best. You see all the models are in here. Everything is just in this one single razor file. So we definitely need to fix this. Real quick, if you want to go really deep into using AI and Copilot for real .NET web development, I just released a new masterclass. The link as always in the video description below and make sure to use the code YouTube for a sweet discount, right? And how do we fix this? Well, with another prompt, of course. Maybe you've seen the other videos where we already used refactoring prompts with the service layer, but today I want to use something differently and that would be feature folders and vertical slice architecture. Now, the idea is in essence then pretty much the same. So let's just run the following. Please refactor the codes with the following rules. Again, I don't want to change the app behavior. So do not change app behavior. And then we want to move all the razor logic here or all the logic from the razor file rather to something else. So here now we say move all API and business logic out of the razor component. And then we want to use dependency injection if it is necessary or if it makes sense, let's say, because we also want to structure this now with vertical slice architecture. So here now we say structure the code using a vertical slice architecture, organize the code by feature, not by technical layer, then use feature folders, which is pretty much part of vertical slice, arch vertical slice architecture, right? So one folder per use case, then keep razor components, components focused on UI only. Maybe we go even deeper and say use CQRS and mediator, then make the code readable, testable and maintainable. Use best practices, which is pretty generic, but still it works. And add XML summary comments where appropriate. Let's run this. And now I am excited. Let's see what is the result. All right, now a lot has happened. As you can see here, we got a bunch of total changes. And here it already says, I refactor the code following vertical slice architecture with Seeker as a mediator. Let me create a well-structured solution. It, added, it adds the mediator package first, and then already creates a query, a result object, an external API models class or file and also still a weather service. So let's see what's actually going on here. So, well, let's start maybe with the query. So here we see get weather query, which is pretty simple. And we have an XML summary comment, which is amazing. I really like them. We have a result object, which is also pretty great. 
And then we have, okay, this is what I missed. So here's the query handler. This is great. So it, it takes the weather query, get weather query, right? And then we get, or we return then the get weather results. Everything's fine. We see a little validation here, let's say. So please enter a city name if it's not provided. This is nice. And then still we have this service. And I guess this is used for uh, the actual API calls. So geocode or geocode location async and get weather data async. Yep, this makes a total sense. Again, we have the beautiful XML summary comments and down here then we see the actual calls. So this works for me. And then the external API models still in one file, several classes. You tell me what is a better practice here. We could refactor that again, but let's have a look further here. It tells us refactoring is complete. We got vertical slash architecture, the CQRS pattern, mediate integration, everything's fine. We see even the new structure here. And yes, we can actually confirm that here in the solution explorer. We can restart the application and then see here we still get the whole weather data. This is nice. But you know, this thing here, this is something that we would have again. We, we need to refactor this again, maybe if you want to refactor that. But we can actually save all these refactoring steps. We can actually do all that upfront with the help of the magical instruction file. Because if you use an instruction file, you can tell Copilot right at the beginning what code guidelines you want to use, what structure you want to use, like the vertical slice architecture here, what patterns you want to use. And if you want to know how to use an instruction file and how to tell Copilot then how to do everything with your prompts, just watch this video here next.